started. Wrath of Khan. All right. Wrath of Khan starts out with e4. Yeah, we can try a Sicilian. Um, the knight c3 Sicilian. That could be a setup for um, <clears throat> uh, the Grand Prix attack with uh, f4. But no, he develops a knight. Okay. So we could just transpose into an ordinary open Sicilian if he plays uh, d4 at any time. In this move order, he's allowed me time to put my bishop here to defend the knight so I don't have to suffer pawn damage here. Then I have to decide what to do with my other bishop. I guess I will go with a, <coughs> a uh, Sicilian dragon type of setup. I like that because it leaves us um, d-pawn defended by the e-pawn and still gives, um, still gives squares for uh, all the pieces. I thought he was going to take back with the uh, knight. He could take back with the queen, I guess, and try and make my rook uncomfortable, but I have knight to um, f6. thought he was going to, yeah, take back with the knight and gain a tempo on my bishop. And um, I just drop back. So here we go. I think it's just a position. Uh, he's got his knight out of the way. Now he could think about playing f4 and <clears throat> going for a Grand Prix type of attack. One pair of knights has been exchanged. He goes queen f3. That's interesting. Queen f3 is on this diagonal here, hitting um, hitting the b-pawn. So if he pushes and I take, he can take over here. But that's not leading to much. That looks like just an exchange. And it seems funny to me to put the queen in front of the pawn. Normally you put the pawn on f4 first and then you bring the queen out. So that's a good square for the knight. Hitting here, here, and threatening to trade. <clears throat> I don't want to take his knight and give him a strong pawn Check. on... Um, give him a strong pawn on d5. So that's why I just sat there and castled and let him take. And now he's going to trade. You know, if he trades everything off... <laughs> There might not be a lot of life to this game. Mm, so what is his idea? So it's just a bishop versus a knight. So it's not completely, uh, it's not completely symmetric. He can think about pushing the e pawn and unmasking this um, this rook on the bishop, which is sitting there undefended at the moment. Let's bring the queen out. This hits. The knight, while the knight's defended, it also hits the b-pawn and defends the d-pawn. And then I could play something like um, e5. Yes, we defended the b-pawn. So if I play e5, the knight has to move. These squares are out. That's out, so he can go only. <clears throat> he only has one square to go to. That's um, e2. From e2, though, he can, he can get back in the game, perhaps by this route, e2, c3 and uh, d5. So I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Let's put a rook on the c file. I don't think he's yet threatening... <coughs> I don't believe he is yet threatening e5. Okay, so he goes there. Now, if I play my queen to um, a4, hitting the a-pawn, is that anything? Let's um, <clears throat> let's move this pawn to a6. So, queen a4, and I take, he plays the rook here. He traps the queen anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, I get the queen out of the way, and he takes uh, the a-pawn. But, um, well, let's see. Let's think about it. Queen a4, and I take, and he plays the rook here. I have queen here to b2, and then he kind of plays the other rook to b2, and then where does the queen go? <laughs> to uh, e2. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. So, um, what can I do? Here's an idea. I'm thinking of, I'm threatening to play bishop to um, g4, hitting the queen and the uh, rook. 
Now maybe bishop g4 anyway. He's threatening to move his knight with check. So let's let's get out of that discovered attack there. Yeah, maybe maybe h5 was not a good move. I just don't know. A little bit tricky. I, I kind of want to just drop my queen back to uh, c2 and play um, b5, c7 and b5, and just uh, <clears throat> try and uh, mess up his queenside pawns here. I sort of lured them forward by attacking them. Now maybe I, I throw some pawns forward and try to... Uh, make them uncomfortable. His queen can invade on um, h6 there. That might be un, un, <laughs> unpleasant for me. <laughs> Maybe my king should have gone to h2 instead of back to g1. Yeah, I don't know that there's any follow-up. Okay, so he's hitting the loose pawn here. That is something to worry about. Okay, I'll defend it with the rook. It's trying to decide which rook, but I guess this rook on the c file is still useful. Still thinking about playing b, <clears throat> b5 here. Okay, so now he's getting tricky. Taking advantage of the pin and uh, adding more pressure to um, e7 here. I can take it with the bishop. And uh, he has to take back with a pawn. And I can um, bring my king up to um, defend the uh, g pawn, so I can take back here. Hmm. Actually, yeah, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? I, he's got uh, rook to. Um, If I just take with the pawn, he's got rook here. And how do I deal with that? How do I defend my g pawn? So fg, f7 takes g6, rook e6, doubling on the uh, g pawn. And the queen over here is not in a place to defend it. Hmm, well, that's very unfortunate. Okay, maybe queen here, uh, but he can play rook. He can lift his rook to uh, d5 if I play queen c5. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to play it this way. I'm kicking his queen. He can take the um, h-pawn. I can play rook h8, and then I can play... Um, D5 here to threaten checkmate. Try and get some counterplay. But I'm going down material here, which I didn't intend to do. So, Wrath of Khan did this uh, pretty well here. And he's got to move the queen, yeah. So that's the logical place to move it to. And then Rook here. Hitting, hitting the H-pawn, and then I can play... Uh, oh, he can just stop... He's just going to stop me from playing that. Okay, so let's um, <laughs> guard the f7 square where he's threatening to come in and deliver some nasty check or something. Maybe a mate even. And then uh, rook here to take the um, <clears throat> to take the advanced g pawn. But he got two pawns for one. Even if I get this back, he's still going to be up a pawn. Hmm, yeah, and he's piling up on this guy. That's annoying. <clears throat> piling up on uh, e7. But I get my queen now in, in contact with the second rank here, providing some defense. 
Okay, so I get one pawn back. The game is not yet over. Could have considered f5 there. And, well, these open lines point at his king, <laughs> as well as my king. <laughs> They're a two-way street since we're on the same side of the board, and I can gain some space, so uh, this is maybe not as bad as it was before. Okay, if I play my pawn to f5, he's just going to play queen to... Um, queen to h4, probably. And if I play... Um, my rook here, he can take it and drag my king out of play. If I play my other rook here, he can take it and then the queen can grab the rook. So what I want to do is bring my queen over. Then he goes queen h4, then I play f5, then he brings his queen here, check. Okay, so maybe I should go to... Um, F2. I mean F7. Queen F7, Queen H4, Queen G8. And then where's the uh, the mate? He can check. He has no squares he can enter in. So we'll see. See if this saves me. Yeah, I'm somehow holding on to everything so far. <clears throat> tricky, tricky game, though. Yeah, maybe bring up the other rook is an idea. Okay, I'm going to force things a bit. I need to grab a little more space here because um, it's just too easy for him to organize his attack when he has all this space. So if his queen goes here, I have queen to g8. I mean, queen h4 threatens checkmate here, so I have to defend that, and the only defense I saw was here. I'm just now noticing there's a check here, but the rook can defend that. And the rooks are holding on to the pawns. This one is loose, but the rook will go to f7 and defend the b7 pawn. So he goes that way. Um, so if I put my queen here, he takes with check, I take, then he takes the queen, I take, he takes, he wins a rook. So I have to take, I think. Oh, but that's bad. If I take... <clears throat> okay, so I have to lift this rook up to defend my rook. So rook takes, rook takes is the idea. Check. And uh, if the queen comes in here, I now have to block with the queen. Still, the queen has no entries here. Check. Yep. So all the material is defended, but uh, at the end, he's going to be up upon. Check. Ah, that trick. Yeah, nice nice tactic. Okay. Well, well, my rating had reached that point uh, where I usually start losing games anyway. So uh, um, let's see. Is there any way out? I take. He takes my queen. Um, if I don't take, he takes my queen. Yeah, so that that's losing. Well, nice game from uh, Wrath of Khan. We Black will uh, take a look at that in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.